invented, but there was plenty of ways to gossip or to write notes or to have her friend ask. No, 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 no. You ask the girl in person with me. Well, I couldn't do that if I was in another state. So I took ballet, mainly because it was free for guys in our town. So I picked up the phone. You know you had to dial. Remember these phones? I had to look her number up. I said, Nora, Nora, Nora. She's like, Ryan, you never call me. And I said, I have, but I have a secret. I have a secret. And Nora babbled and gossiped about everything to everyone, and half of it might have been true at best. You know those people. I've heard they can exist in a church as well. <laughs> she talked and talked and talked and talked about people. I said, Nora, I want you to know a secret. I think your friend Patrice is really, really pretty. She's like, that's not a secret, you're a guy. And I was like, okay, that's fair. But my real secret is, I got a swim meet and I want to ask her to prom. Just don't tell her. She told the whole world! Everybody knew Ryan wanted to ask Patrice to prom. By that night, Patrice had called me and said, I would love you to ask me to prom. I think Jesus knows how humans work. I think that story is true of humanity for all of time. What if Jesus knows us and knows this man who's never been able to hear and now he can hear, this man who's never been able to talk and now can talk, this man who's never been able to sing and can sing for joy in the great congregation of God. Oh, don't go tell anyone. He's going to go tell more people about the goodness of God than anyone else. There are times to be strategic, which is always. Amen.